How many hats did he have? Like, was there a favourite? Favourite was always the one that was more bashed up and had a really good hole up in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> so he's a man. They he's were a comfortable man. then. All right, number one. Now, uh, oh, what's this one? Oh, look. It's got the hat again here, of course. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, look. <laughs> wow. Six okay. CDs. Wow. Now, for yeah. six decades. Is it six decades? That's 60 years. Some it? of us haven't been alive for six decades. That's right. <laughs> you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> when the rain tumbles down in July. Now, that was Slim's first commercial yeah. record release. Yeah. And uh, he recorded it in 46, 1946, was released in 1947. Yeah. Each of these, in these decades, tried to choose, tried to choose tracks that Slim was still singing yeah. 50 and 60 years later. That design... Yeah, where's that from? I've seen... Uh, that's that, popped up a, a bit over the years, That was on the it? cover of his gold album. It was his 50th yeah. anniversary album. Yeah. And... Um, Oh, that has become a real sort of logo for Slim. Yeah. You know, his um, we used to have key rings and um, and belt buckles yeah. with that yeah. in pewter, and that was yeah, and that was on the fiftieth album. Yeah. Because who would have thought even then that he was going to go on to do over a hundred albums? It's amazing. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Oh well, let's. Okay, well, uh, That's a nice one. You'll too. probably be quite good at using that later if we have a cup. Do you mind? Thanks, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. If now, we wash up, you've got to sling the tea towel. Now, Hang on. now, if you're under 20 years old, you're in for a big surprise here. Look at the size of that big black CD. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my kids said. What are those big black CDs in your office, Dad? Oh, I, 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 have to, I have to explain. That's lovely just to hold that, isn't it? You think That's so many of those releases on, on here yeah. over decades, this is how they came out. Yes. And, uh, oh, and they called it Columbia Lane. Oh, the label. Great. That's, That's what he called his little home studio. And how many, he did, would he do just vocals and things there or record the whole band? You know, how, how did yes, that? Yes, we recorded, he recorded the whole band and everything mm. in Columbia Lane. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. This was the Gorgeous. poster, the poster which we put out for the first time when Slim was presented with the first gold record. So that's the first first gold record in Australia. First okay. gold record in Australia. It is still the only gold 78. Huh. Uh, we've got that still. And this... You had the teapot on it earlier, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that wasn't it. <laughs> Please, I've got that packed away. The curators yeah. grabbed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can't tell you where. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, how did they do that? Because they wouldn't have known they, how many. Uh, they had look. They had to. They didn't know. The company didn't know how to make a gold record. Yeah. They had to send to the states to find out how the gold records were done, and then when they had all of that information. They thought, well, we're going to present him with this gold record, but there was no gold standard in Australia, mm. like for a number of sales for a gold record, because yeah. there had never been a gold record. So you can see here, look, this gold record was awarded to Slim Dusty to commemorate his phenomenal record sales over the past 10 years. That's how it started. And of course, Maybe. then the companies and the recording industry had to decide how many albums you had to sell to, for a record to go gold. Yeah. And so Slim started a lot of things, and so he started those Isn't as well, gold records. I mean, that's, that's pioneer. And I mean, <laughs> talk about success as a pioneer too, isn't it? Uh, like pioneering the sales success. So, uh, so just, just explain this. This is quite fascinating this is piece of history. This is a facsimile of Slim's stationery. See, when he was even... Um, putting his process records out, yeah. he was getting all this fan mail coming up to Nulla Creek, oh. which is a very isolated place in yeah. those days. And he was getting so much that it got too much for him. He couldn't keep it up because after all, he was working the farm. And um, he's got a, a letter here 
as he says, my idea is to have this standard copy, which most fans request. Any additional questions are such... Oh, he could answer at the end of the letter, you see? Yeah. So this had a lot of information, general information that people always asked for. Yeah. And then he used to write down the bottom yeah, okay. of the page. Yeah. I've seen some. I've seen some of these that people have kept. Yeah. And with his little handwriting at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, like, P.S., I am happily married, Joy and I, you know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, no, I put a stop to that fact, <laughs> that, that letter here, <laughs> 1951. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay. Uh, what for your bumper? Put on your bumper sticker. Put your bumper sticker. Great. <laughs> stick it on your bumper. This is a great chance for people to join you on that journey. Uh, yes. So congratulations, Joy. Thank you, And Colin. congratulations, Slim. Yes, congratulations, yeah. Slim. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> And the kangaroo still bounds on that rough and rugged ground The ant hills and the old pandanus grow